Hey, this is Michael with Brainy Face Project. And today I opened up Adobe Creative Cloud. I use Photoshop a lot. I'm trying to get away from it. And it popped up this screen and it said that I had access to Firefly video. And so I thought, what the heck? I use a lot of AI generative video, but I had not actually used Adobe's video plan. So I looked and it says that if you have the Creative Cloud single app or all apps plans, you get up to 1000 credits per month. So I was thinking, okay, well, cool. You know, I'll go ahead and I'll try this out. I didn't know I had access to it, but this is pretty cool. Uh, the generative credits are actually something that you have to pay for. So this is a premium feature now with Adobe Firefly Video. You get two complimentary generations. Oh my gosh, two whole clips. So what do we get, like 10 seconds worth of video? Thank you, Adobe, for giving me access to 10 seconds worth of video when I've spent over $7,000 over the past 12 years on my Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So anyway, I took an image that I had generated not so long ago in Midjourney. I dropped it in as the first frame into Firefly. And I thought I'll just go ahead and generate an image here using a very straightforward prompt here. So I basically said that I wanted to have a, a futuristic space cat walking down a busy cyberpunk street. Not too many options. I did choose 1080p. It defaults to 24 frames per second. And then you have some basic camera motions. So for my two clips, I did one at zoom out and then the other I did at handheld. The only other option that I had access to was to change the seed, which is used for a random generation. It took one minute and 23 seconds to create the video and just hold on to your hold on yourself here because this is the first video output. Isn't that amazing how the camera goes up and down quickly? Yeah, uh, this pretty much this is really very disappointing here. Um, not good at all. The creature in the background, whatever that is, walking along doesn't look great. This is the second generation here. Um, so this was the other prompt, uh, the zoom out. So I had a handheld shot that I did, and then I did a zoom out. Look at the arm. Let me freeze frame this here. This is not symmetrical at all. The quality of the video in the background is, is not great. And so that was pretty disappointing. So I got two rolls for free compliments of Adobe. And so I tried that out. And then I looked, I'm like, I have a thousand credits left because I have my Adobe Creative Cloud plan. I have the all apps plan. But apparently that doesn't do you any good whatsoever because video is a premium feature. And if you wanted to use Adobe Firefly Premium, it only costs you $199.99 on top of your Adobe Creative Cloud plan. $200 a month. What if you annualize it? Oh, $2,000 a year. And that gets you access to 50,000 monthly generative credits to use exclusively on premium features so you can translate up to 166 minutes of video and audio. And if, if you do AI video, you know that you use those credits so quickly. And with the quality that I got, I was like, this is, this is not good at all. So I went back to try it and it said my two complimentary generations for this premium feature are complete. Buy a Firefly plan now for continued access. I will never click buy now. So uh, let's use the same prompt here and actually see how this compares in a couple of other products here. So I went into Veo2 and unfortunately with Google's Veo2, you don't have the ability to upload images yet. So I just used the same prompt and this is what it gave me, which actually I have to say looks pretty cool. Um, I liked my kind of CGI video game style uh, Cybercat that I had created before, but Veo2 didn't disappoint here. I've got some cool rain falling. The animation of people walking on the side of the street is good. I love the background video um, here. So I would say that I'm way more impressed by what Veo2 did, and I can't wait to see once they release the feature where you can actually upload your first frame image, and then it'll do image to video because this actually Actually looks pretty darn good. So the next one that I did here was Sora. So OpenAI's Sora. Of course, we all know Sora. Um, it's it's you know continuing to evolve. Remember those original images that they had well over a year, probably a year and a half ago. I uploaded my image into Sora, 
and I got a few different video clips out of it, so I put a couple of them in here. It did, on my second clip here, kind of switch the frame, so I, I wasn't a fan of that because when it switches out the camera angle and everything, um, I'm, it really doesn't work. You can't use that clip unless you edit it down. This one was kind of like sneaking up from the bottom. Um, I like the angle on that, but again, it started with the image at the beginning and then it quickly switched over to another frame of it uh, kind of panning up. This was, eh, again, glitchy. Um, or it's taking that that image and it's kind of embedding it as a single frame So you'd have to edit this out if you were going to use it And of course you've got the Sora logo in the lower right then I went over to runway. I'm a big fan of runway um, this cat um, <laughs> Hyper pause up in the front the first clip here kind of pulls back So this was the camera zooming out and apparently this is a pretty popular cat because people are in line to see this cat. I liked the futuristic space cars on the left-hand side. That was cool. And then the second clip, I actually got what I asked for. So I got a cat walking down a busy city street here. But if you look in the background, you can see that you've got some of the people falling apart. That I don't know what that is on the left-hand side there. It's kind of a cat kind of weird hybrid. Now frame pack... This is free. I did a video. I actually did a short. I'll put a link for that. And then I have another comparison. I've been using frame pack quite a bit. The great thing about this, it is 100% free and you can run it locally on your own computer. And I was actually pretty impressed with the generations that I got here. So I, I had a cat walking down the street and just for grins, I did change the prompt a little bit and I asked for the cat to dance. And so we'll just exit with that here. So quick comparison, I have to say that Adobe Firefly video, disappointing. If you like this video, please like the video. And I'd love to get your comments here and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.